Hey there, Sleeping Amy family. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are actually going to open up these tins, which they've been out for a little bit. So <laughs> they actually came out on Twilight Masquerade release day. My Kip and I just did not get them on release day. We were so focused on just getting cards or just getting packs and products for just specifically Twilight Masquerade. So I went and found them, one of them at GameStop, one of them at Target, and we're going to open these up. So the Iron Leaves I found at Target. We're going to open up that one first since it's right on top. <laughs> but these should have Twilight Masquerade packs in them. And we have our Iron Leaves promo. This is a promo. And I think it's smart to release some of these cards as promos. That way people will have access to them if they're quite playable. And I think Iron Leaves has a little bit of playability to it. So in these, you get two Twilight Masquerade, Temporal Forces, and two Obsidian Flames. Not a bad pack selection. Not bad at all. <laughs> and we will actually save the Twilight Masquerade for last. We'll open up the Temporal Forces first. So, let's see. It's actually been a bit since I opened up some cards. You guys have seen probably several videos, but it's like, it's been an, I honestly haven't opened any since all the product I got from Toilet Masquerade, which is quite a bit. So, let's see. We got Iron Jugulus, Shroomish, Matang into a Maridon EX. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it, into the next pack. And uh, we got Obsidian Flames, also a set that's very good. I think some people probably still play that Charizard. And we got Palafin. And I'll have to double check and see which one's made the top eight. Uh, I was uh, really hoping for Raging Bolt to not make it. <laughs> Mostly because I need that Raging Bolt. <laughs> Alright, we got Charmander, Young Goose. I still like, think that's so pretty. Uh, we got Pidgey, Bug Trio, Statlin, the Chunk, Poppy, into a Skullvillian. So, so far the only hit. Which is weird because usually Obsidian Flames does pretty well. From our Temple Forces packs. So let's see if these Twilight packs are gonna be good. <laughs> and uh, friend Missy, she actually did really well. She was very excited. She beat her personal best. And I'm very, very happy for her. Because <laughs> she she wanted to do really well at the tournament. And I think she did very well. A palm. Monferno into a Frost Lass. And we'll actually keep our Twilight ones separate. As I am still hunting some reverses. <laughs> and let's see. Last pack out of this tin. We got Applin. Litwick. Iron Bundle, Watrell, Nose Pass, and to an Ogre Pond. So only the Bride on out of there. Let's see if the Walking Wake, can pick it up, <laughs> does any better than the Iron Leaves. <laughs> These are kind of like collector boxes that hit or miss. But here is our Walking Wake. We'll take it out as well. And as far as playability for this one, I don't see too many people playing the Walking Lake. Um, don't think it's quite as playable, but it is a very cool card though. <laughs> and it's the only, I think, 
uh, SIR Pokemon it pulled from Temporal Forces. Now, like before, we're gonna flip the Twilight Masquerade to the back, and I do have some single packs of Twilight Masquerade to open too. So let's open up our Temporal Pack. <laughs> of course, some of the there's two cards I'm still hunting from Temporal: the Gold Iron Boulder and the Raging Bolt. <laughs> Ekans, Beaking, and two of them I caught. Looks like no chance today, but I figured I could try and trade for the Raging Bolt. I know it's not too bad. Let's see. Into Obsidian Flames, Senesti. Of course, we're seeing the Regional variants of that in Twilight Masquerade now. Into an Entei. And of course, again, in Temple, we got Yajin Fire, the Paradox form of Entei. So, Mike uh, had to help me find those cards, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got Phantom, Volpix. Camera out, the big smooshy boy, Magnemite, Magneton, Scovillian. <laughs> that would have been funny if we had Magnezone right in the back. Alright. But even with just the one ER, Iron Leaves is looking good so far. Uh, again, I don't put too much stock in these. It's Hey, we got an Eevee. <laughs> it, it's one of those hit or miss things. It, sometimes 10's gonna be really good or really not good. And we got an Ursaluna. There we go. We get a pull. We got an EX to match our other EX. I think this one's a little bit better. But there's still EXs, so. Not too bad if we can just match it. We did get an Eevee though, so that makes me happy. I love my Eevees. Alright, last one out of this 10, and we will get into our single packs to see if we can get anything good out of single packs. As the one other product I have not opened, that's a cool rubber room, is the single packs. We got Scolipede, Chiyu, Kieran Full Art! <laughs> All right, we did much better. And I will say, I think I traded for this one recently, but that's all right. Kieran Full Art Trainer. Let's take a look at this one, actually. I know it's got two. We may have looked at the regular card. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. You gotta choose one, or during this turn, attacks used by your Pokemon do 30 more damage to your opponent's active EX and active V. It's okay. I don't think it's the best, but it's okay. <laughs> Not sure I'd see too many people playing it. Um, but yeah, we got two of each pack artwork here of these Twilight Masquerade ones. And these ones actually came from the Dollar Tree, so I wanted to try out some Dollar Tree packs. Even though they're not a dollar, they are not a dollar at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think at this point, the name Dollar Tree is kind of like Dollar General. Stuff in there is not a dollar. <laughs> Alright, but I'm very glad we got that full art. <laughs> we have Nine Tails, Trevins, Snorlax, but first food. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Leaf Young, Puchiana, Arcanine, into a Sinestia EX. I just really like this artwork. I like the way it's drawn. And just the eyes and everything. This is very nice. <laughs> I know it's just a basic EX, but still, I really like it. It's a very nice artwork. Okay, the next one. Uh, let's see. So we got a full art and EX out of 110 and an EX out of another. Not too bad. Uh, let's see if our single packs can beat that though. We're matching it so far with the EX. Let's see if we can get something really, really good. 
We got Ranfort, Palafin, Applin, Isuian Corallon, yes! And we got an Alakazam, yes! <laughs> yes, 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 okay, I'll stop touching the card. <laughs> We got his Sumian Growlithe illustration rare. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh my gosh, this is one of the really cute ones I was hoping to pull. And yes, you can see Perrin's legs and hopefully we can pull that Perrin card too because Perrin does match with this Growlithe by going upside down. But this is an adorable, adorable Growlithe. I love the Hisuian one, it's super, super cute. I know the shiny kind of with this version of Growlithe is a little, looks a little lackluster, but love this Growlithe. It is amazing. I'm so glad they gave it the illustration rare. <laughs> and we pulled it. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> it's just one of those that's kind of up there for an illustration rare. It started out pretty low and I should have kind of, it was one of those things where I was like, I should have grabbed it <laughs> when it first came out. Cause it's around $7 and it's kind of shot up a little bit. The attack is really good though, because it's no energy, and the Hisuian Arcanine's also is a no energy attack. Uh, I think the Arcanine one's a little bit better, but this one discards a stadium in play. So, but yes! <laughs> we got Growlithe. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's keep that momentum going. Definitely I'd say we've matched those tins now. Belly Bolt, Mighty Anna, Abra into a Blissey EX. I pulled this Blissey a few times. I think it's quite playable. It's got that happy switch, which you can move a basic energy from one of your Pokemon to another one of your Pokemon. So you don't have to use an energy switch. You do have to involve it. I think it's stage, yeah, this one's a stage one. They don't count happening. So it's a stage one, which isn't too bad. What you gotta do is evolve it once. But then you can move your freely move that energy around however you want. So I don't think that's too bad. <laughs> I kind of wonder how many people are playing the Blissey. That's my question. Lucky Helmet. We got Iron Bundle, Diplin, Fion, into an Ogre Pond. This is a very, very way off center Ogre Pond. <laughs> I'm definitely going back through those two. All right, now we are into our Dollar Tree packs. So the packs from Target were pretty good. We got Sinestro, which I'm actually gonna put these down here. We got three pulls out of those four packs. And one of them being that Growlithe, super cute Growlithe. Oh my goodness, super, super cute. <laughs> I always like doing these single pack ones too. And I usually get some more. Like they're pretty good. I'll try to just do a battle between the artworks. <laughs> Always a little fun thing to me. I'm also just trying to see which ones just seem to have a little bit better. They're kind of spread. That ink looks really, really dark. Oh my goodness. It's like just very heavy. That one too. Must have been like new ink. Then we got our regular Growlithe into an Iron Leaves. Uh, but I think this time around it's got a good spread amongst products for, for pulls. Um, I know it opened up about four ETDs, one of them being the Pokemon Center one, and about three regular ones. Those pulls were okay. I'll probably drift away from ETBs and try to open up the other products. Um, three packs, single packs, booster bundles, that kind of thing. Unless I just want more of the sleeves, then I'll open those ETVs. <laughs> we have a Trevenant, Venison, into a Monkey Dory. I'm trying to think of any other products. But I knew for Temporal Forces, the three packs ended up being really good. So. We'll have to go back through. Maybe pick up another booster bundle and try it. Pick up some more three packs, try those. I just I just like comparing that way. Okay, next pack. We got Palisand. Oops. 
Timber, Diplin, Rillaboom, Lana's Aid, Legacy Energy. Actually, Mike just pulled this one too. Into a Fairy and a Hisuian Arcanine. Mike just pulled this, I believe. Legacy Energy Ace Spec. So, <laughs> it's actually for us. I've been doing a lot of trades, a lot, a lot of trades. And I think that Legacy Energy is the one that finished us off with the Ace Specs. Uh, <laughs> So not too bad. I'll definitely stick that one in the trade binder though. Usually like when I compare and uh, but I'll probably end up putting that one in the trade binder. Oh my goodness, go in the garbage bag. Metal something fell out. <laughs> Alright, we are down to our last pack. So we are going to boop Mudkip and Eevee. And see if we can get some last pack magic here. We got Dargamaka, the super cute A Palm, <laughs> Poliwag, Helioptile, Cramorant, Tadsuguri, Furbigarath, Sinestra, Frogoneer into, whoops, Greninja EX. We got a Greninja EX, a regular one. And not too bad there as well. We did get the last pack magic, this Greninja, which I think has a little bit of playability as well. So, our dollar packs did come through. Out of those, we did get two pulls. We got the Legacy Energy and the Greninja out of those last four packs. So that was actually pretty good. <laughs> and total out of our singles, we had eight packs, five pulls. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. To me, it's actually a little bit better than an ETB. An ETB just have nine packs, so maybe that's the next thing I do. Get an ETB and person with some single packs and see if the single packs can just I can get better hits that way. <laughs> well, we will have to see. But we did get this full art Kieran as well, and uh, very excited about that girl. <laughs> yes, but uh, if you guys. Uh, enjoy today's video hit that like button and if you're not yet subscribed hit that subscribe button <laughs> uh, we got plenty more Twilight Masquerade videos that I have done and plenty more I plan to do just try to keep it a little bit uh, <laughs> but more entertaining and if you guys actually have some suggestions on what I should open what you guys have had success with leave a comment down below and uh, <laughs> I think the next product we're gonna open are some of these new mini tins that came out recently too. Stay tuned for that, and as always, take care, sleep well, and good night.